Hello guys. So today we are going to discuss rabbit farming. And this thing is profitable guys because these are the most profitable animals to rear because they need very little resources, very little space and the nyama guys. Why we chose rabbit farming is because one of uh, you guys know we are urban farmers. So urban farming it means farming in small spaces yet still getting the nutrition you need. Yes, you can be able to have a kitchen garden, but can you be able to produce protein? Yes, that's a very good question and the answer is today rabbit keeping. So some of the benefits of it is that you can get the meat from the rabbit you can become a breeder by selling breeders breeders go for up to 4500 these are pure breeds that are imported just for you then you can interbreed the pure breeds with the kienyeji ones to still get a product that you can be able to work with because you also know pure breeds have their challenges and the care is more intense but also the kienyeji are light in weight but if you crossbreed both of them, because pure breeds can get up to six kilos, you can get a good rabbit and in four months it's matured, you're in the market with up to four kilos. I usually buy rabbit meat. I have an order that I'm not even able to sustain. So guys, please contact us, become our, our farmers, our registered farmers with Farmer on Fire and we'll hook you up with market. I usually buy a kilo and slaughtered for 350 shillings so if you have a rabbit that is 2.5 kilos call me up i'll come and get it if you have up to three kilos four kilos so you can imagine if you have a four kilo rabbit that is 1500 just for one rabbit and you've been buying it for how much so i am definitely going to give you a very good deal additionally is that you can also sell the fur when you skin the rabbit you will get the fur and that one we you well, we also are able to link you with market linkages there is nothing that we don't do for our market members the other advantage is rabbit urine the way you build your structure you start with the structure so the house has to be very well ventilated as you can see the house is just full of mesh rabbits need a lot of air but on cold seasons like size we are going to the rainy seasons it's good to cover it up here we sometimes cover it up if it's too breezy but since we are based in kitengela our rabbits are not getting any cold stress but if you're in a place like nyahururu or other areas that is extremely cold find a way to be putting the you know like a tent in the evening because protect because cold kills them yes they have fat to keep them warm but it's also good to add them that so that they are not stressed at night remember rabbits are nocturnal during the night traditionally rabbits are borers it means they live under the ground and during the day because they are afraid of predators they go underground and during the night they come out to eat and look for food so remember that your rabbits are more active at night so when you feed them in the morning it's always also advisable to feed them in the evening because that's the best time the metabolism is optimum in the evening and in the night time be aware that when you build for your rabbits and you build wood, wood they are going to chew on the wood so what we do is that we give them hay a rabbit diet is 80 percent hay and 20 10 percent pellets which are these ones that we buy from the agro vet as you can see and you're supposed to give it 20 grams only this per rabbit per day so you would garnish at this and so i would take like this much in the morning he pellets ukiaka kwa maji inafura and it's able to feed the rabbit optimally it's also a source of protein which will give the animal a protein source the other benefit of pellets is that it's dry food it will make the rabbit thirsty a rabbit that drinks water let me repeat this if you want to become a commercial rabbit farmer who will party to greens greens need 10 percent pellets need 10 percent 80 percent hay or dried foods why to 
specialized kuipatia chakula imekauka so that they can, they are very excited when they hear the pellets because they know mama is coming with food why we insist on giving them dry food is because it itaji maji na hiyo maji kikunywa it adds more weight so that is the secret guys that's the secret ensure your rabbit is taking water if you give it majani na zile vitu umeokota tu huko itakuwa hiyo majani it's already wet and it won't have the desire to produce uh, to 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 feel thirsty and drink your water utakuwa tu naona haikunywi maji ukiwekea hapo the other benefit of giving it water is that in a, in a susu it gives you urine and we are able to trap it here in these containers unaeka gutters so ukijenga nyumba unaeka mabati so that your your really your urine can pass through get into the gutters and into the container then you take that con urine you put it kwa mtungi yako alafu customer akikuitisha unampakia so this one we sell it for 250 a liter of pure urine hatuongezi kitu yote hatuongezi maji and this is a very good pesticide and a very good fertilizer high nitrogen fertilizer so if someone asks you hii kitu sasa tutatumia aje unasema ina dilute 10 liters this one liter you will add it to a 10 liter market and it will give you 11 liters na unaweza ukaweka kwa watering can yako alafu upige kwa mimea yako you will see the difference itaongeza hiyo green matter because it has high nitrogen rabbits produce a lot of nitrogen they are the only animal with the highest nitrogen source so you guys meshika hapo you can market your urine just straight at home then so we've said you can sell the rabbit meat i buy rabbit meat for 350 per kilo it has to be at least 2.5 kilos kabla unitie number zetu za simu tutaweka hapa zitakuwa zina run all through our videos because nimeona watu wangetaka kujua more but how is it kufanya hivyo so the other thing is uh, you can sell the meat, you can sell the fur, you can sell the urine, and you can sell breeders. Tunaweza tukakuzia breeders, alafu wewe ukwe unauzia breeders kwa watu wengine. Pure breeds are rare to find, na watu wanatafuta hizo. Because hizo and hizo zikona kilo. Sungure ya six kilos. Kiuza siuko na pesa mzuri? Yes. So... How to hold a rabbit? Rabbit inashikwa kwa shingo hapa hivi. Wewe usishike masikio. You hold it at the back of it. Hapo hivyo itakuwa iko sawa. It's a bit scared but it's okay. <laughs> so rabbits are very passive. Unaweka tu asubuhi chakula. The structure is self cleaning. Alafu unangojea inakupatia watoto. Rabbits can be able to give birth six times in a year. So in Amanisha, every two months, the mother is able to give birth. And that means in a car two mwezi moja nao watoto, alafu another month it's pregnant, so the lactation of a rabbit is one month. So in four weeks, you are able to get a new breed. And it can get six to ten children. You hear the saying of breeding like rabbits, that one is truly true. Because we started our entire farm with one pregnant rabbit. And now we have over two. I think over 48 of rabbits because we are up on you. You'll see the structure is is very slim. This is one meter wide structure, but do not worry. At the back as well, we also have other houses. Yes, you can see some more. And these are the containers for feeding it. They are made of earthen so that they are heavy. If you get plastic ones, they can throw them over and they will fall. California white. This is my favorite breed of rabbits. <laughs> it's white, pure white with pink eyes. I think it's the most prettiest rabbit breed that we have. <laughs> it's my favorite. Yes, so ensure that you get these containers. Easy containers in a particular apple railways KFA can get them for 100 bob the small ones 
these are the small ones and this is the big one apple if you want the exact name and number of the shop but if you lose your area after you say rainless nairobi utapata the small one is 100 the big one is i think 150 yes so basically that's rubbish keeping in a nutshell you can be able to get more information if you reach out to us become our member so that we can hold your hand in this journey the one thing we are guaranteeing farmers is market and rabbit meat is profitable thank you